level, you'll be sent to whatever channel is appropriate for your level. Now, Fight for Oswan is pretty awesome for parties. So if you have a guild or have a bunch of friends who want to definitely try something different, Fight for Oswan is the place you really want to be. Uh, we did do a run yesterday, you know, internally as for testing, and it was pretty awesome. It was my first time playing Fight for Oswan as well on a Mercedes character. I have a newfound appreciation for Mercedes now. Uh, once you get in this map, the portal in the upper left will take you back where you came from, and the one in the middle is the one you're going to go to in order to uh, head towards the lobby. Woohoo! And now we're greeted by everybody else who are going to be in our party. Uh, looks like we have a mechanic, Mercedes, Demon Slayer, and uh, Evan. Is that everybody? Who's hiding? Ah, and a jet. There we go. All of our awesome classes who have really high mobility, and which you'll see why it's going to be really necessary for um, party mode in Fight for Oswan. Getting everybody started here. So with the first mode that we're going to do is Occupy mode. Is that correct, Waltzing? Yes. Can you tell us more about Occupy mode? Um, occupy mode is a uh, tower assault mode. Uh, enemies will be marching left, and there's a guardian tower on the far right that you want to stop. Uh, and there's also an owl tower that will drop rocks on you for massive damage. Uh, the guardian tower's HP will constantly be refilled as the monsters reach the left side of your screen. So you have two goals. Stop the monsters from reaching the left side of the screen and to destroy the guardian tower. Lots of coordination here, people. At the same time, you will get the little bird-like Cygnus minions who will be attacking with you. Now, they're not as strong as you are, obviously, so uh, make sure you do get up in there and defend the best you can. We're about to get started, it looks like. So uh, the poor citizens of Aswan were unfortunately uh, taken care of by the evil shamaness Hilla, who decided to sell her people for beauty, eternal life, and power. So she resurrects an army of skeletons. Help. Help. Over here you Help. talk to Longorius in the lobby room. Help. And you can choose from the different modes, Occupy, Attack, Defend, and Supply. Uh, all modes, except for Supply, you can choose Difficulty, and you can choose if you're out of a party uh, to go solo or to go in as a party. Honor EXP, which we'll talk about later, can only be obtained between 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. No! No! You son of a bitch. Ooh, here we go. So destroy the Guardian Tower in the rightmost part of the map to win. So you're going to definitely want your party to take the upper top and bottom and not just concentrate. Oh shit, son. In just one area. Whoopsies. This is the Owl Tower. As you can see, the rocks do a lot of damage. Like I mentioned earlier, we'll require a bit of coordination you know, pets or pots, if you're good at spamming pots. And we do have a level 200 character here, and he still got annihilated. So get in there, destroy the tower, get rid of these enemies. These enemies actually have a pretty decent HP, as you can tell. What do you guys think so far? Freaking amazing. So how do you lose in this map? Like, what happens if everybody dies? Or, or what is what would be the thing that would signify a defeat on this, this particular mode? You just don't get as much EXP, and you don't get any honor EXP. Uh, so if the time runs out, then or you leave, then you lose.
Phantom really has some pretty flashy skills, I must say. <laughs> uh, well, so as you notice, uh, it's pretty awesome with uh, Fight for Oz 1, where when you die, you respawn immediately onto the map. Quite helpful, you know, just five seconds, get back in there, restore your health, and kick some butt. Victory! We just experienced a little minor lag on our side there, but uh, <laughs> they experienced lag. pretty good so far. You see us. So we're going to start the next mode. <coughs> Even next time so the next mode is called attack mode, as you kind of saw earlier also with the menu that we pulled up. It's very similar to Occupy mode, but unlike Occupied mode, um, Attack mode avatar uh, alters, excuse me, will heal themselves. Again, you can pick the difficulties and party and solo, and uh, get started. We're gonna try the hardest difficulty here, so please bear with us. <laughs> <laughs> Did we not play Hell mode yesterday? No, we did not. Oh, well. GL. We'll see how things go, huh, guys? <laughs> Not well so far, but uh, I'm sure we'll get the hang of it. As you can tell, the... Okay, well, maybe we won't get the hang of it. <laughs> As you can tell, the the towers do do a lot of damage. Do -do. So, gotta destroy the Guardian Tower, and at the same time, minions will be spawning, so you gotta do what you gotta do, and defeat all the enemies, and take down everything. What do you guys think of attack mode so far? So, I think we're doing decently well. I mean, I think uh, some knockback skills would definitely push the enemies back to the right. And uh, So how do you lose in this mode, Waltzing? Uh, same way. Timer runs out or you leave. What happens when all the enemies go towards the left through the gates? Uh, the health bar of, sorry, of the Guardian Tower, uh, gets refilled. Well, that's not good if you're making decent progress and your teammates down below aren't pushing enemies back. So again, coordination. You gotta have top and bottom covered and make sure nobody goes to the left to heal the tower. It's it's pretty intense so far, guys. <laughs> Freaking dies right away. Now, don't forget to, you know, use your potions because uh yeah, some of these some of these skills from the tower are, are one-hit kills like that one. So, Hell looks, looks pretty difficult, even with our pretty beefy characters. I think we're going to switch it over to a hard mode where maybe it's a tad, tad easier. And we don't spend too much time uh, going through this one mode while we have more to go through. Wait. <laughs> Fail. Uh, so it looks like uh, we failed and enough enemies get through. Um, that mode is now lost. What? So now we'll try again in hard. Did we play hard yesterday? 
Yes, we did. Uh, we did. Uh, hard was uh, it was pretty good. I think it was a really good run. Um, if you guys are up for a challenge, hell, as you can see, is definitely there. But for those who maybe want a little training, a little preparation, and who are still up for a challenge, hard is a great place to start. Here we go again. All right, hard mode time because you guys are too weak. Even doing it. Halo doesn't stand a chance my balls. I thought you guys were going to be GMs or some shit. I think I see a harp seal there. Why doesn't Mercedes have her new little pet? Oh shit, son. I wonder how a warrior would, uh, would be here. Spearman. Hyper body. Good game. <laughs> Got the uh, altar up here, and he will heal the uh, guardian tower. So you really want to take out this altar before you uh, attack the guardian tower. And careful, keep an eye on if he'll respawn. Your little Cygnus minions that uh, follow you along over here, they'll actually take the brunt of the assault from the guardian tower so you can use that to your advantage to dodge attacks definitely keep an eye on your mini map for the little red dots to spawn because they will give you a good indication of what's going on and where things are yeah that makes sense because something spawns and like oh okay well that was a much better run so, how many coins did we get there? I saw one. Well, we'll explain the coin system a little later. As you saw, we are now going into defense mode. At this point, we will be preventing the Cygnus Faith Stone from being destroyed, so we have to protect that. And at the same time, we will have to smash the ballistas that spawn on the map as well. So it's a two-part mode. that mech using a third job skill? So enemy monsters will be s summoned from the left and the right. So you gotta get a couple of party members on each side to push those monsters back to prevent them from attacking the Cygnus Faith Stone. Now, if they destroy the Cygnus Faith st Stone, you will lose this mode. As I mentioned earlier, ballistas will also spawn on this map, and you can watch the mini-map and see where they pop up. The game will also announce when it will spawn as well. Uh, you win this mode as soon as all the ballistas are destroyed. And you see up in the top of the mini-map, you see the little red dot appear. That's the ballista. It can appear in multiple locations. That's awesome. It's only one will spawn at a time. Kick his ass. What the ballistas will do is it will literally launch attacks in, over the entire map. And it will do pretty heavy damage. So you kind of make sure you want to take it down as soon as possible so it doesn't spam its massive attacks. will reduce the life of all your teammates to a pretty low level. The ballista will also attack the stone, so do pay attention to the spawns on the map. Oh, 
Oh, that sucks. The ballista will freaking. Wow. Damage of stone. Nice damage. Under the timer, it tells you how many ballistas are remaining. So far, we've taken down two, and there will be six more that will spawn. Oh, wow. I didn't even see that on the map. Go, Jet, go! No! Is the jet even doing anything? Seriously? The jet's not even doing any damage. Fail. Oh wow, looks like you gain a lot of It's a pretty interactive mode, huh? Looks like you gain a lot of EXP from this. I'm totally gonna play this when it comes out. On the 25th. Oh wow, ballistic. Uh, we're getting uh, anywhere from 7,000 to 2,000 to up to 20,000 per kill. and depends on the mob that you're killing. Oh well, I guess that's not that bad, but LHC would be better. I should really raise the XP of the mobs. Of course, we are playing at the highest level character, so it really depends on uh, the level of your character, what modes you're playing, and the difficulty you're also playing at. Oh, a blista. So we got a question asking, do you lose EXP when you die in this mode? The answer to that is no. It's very similar to PvP, in which you won't die. I mean, sorry, you won't lose EXP when you die. You might die. Excuse me. <laughs> Did you see the enemies attack the stone? The health, bar, the health bar of the stone will definitely go down. So keep those minions away. <clears throat> A quick pro tip. Do not use your knockback skills and knock the enemy towards the stone. <laughs> I have made that mistake yesterday. Wow. So, knock them... The other way. <laughs> Not towards the stone. they already fixed that card thing that phantoms have because it does no damage 
Fight for Last One mode uh, minimum level requirement is 40. Uh, you can party and solo in this oh, good. One new feature. Grand. Last Mega Ballista. We're going to do it. Last one, last one. We got two minutes and 24 seconds. There's definitely not enough time, really, to idle in these maps and modes. So, well, victory. So make sure you get everything covered. And the coins obtained. We will, again, we will explain them um, once we finish going through the modes. So we got another question from the chat asking if monsters drop anything during these modes. No, monsters will not drop anything. Except for supply mode, which you will see shortly. Supply mode has no difficulty, or you can't select the difficulty. Now, supply mode is only available during certain times of the day. If you accept the quest for it, you will see the monsters drop Oswald supply boxes. Once you collect 100 of the boxes, use the portal within the map to visit Longorious? Longorious. This area functions much like a hunting mini dungeon. Supply mode for a while then. Wow, you have nothing on impeccable memory, seriously. Like no buffs? A little note to uh, form goer Maurice, if you're listening, uh, you'll see that uh, what was formerly Carte Blanc is now correctly Carte Blanche. Well, there goes that misconception that we don't read the forums. <laughs> I'm sure she'll see this because I'm recording. <laughs> so we don't have the quest activated at the moment, as I mentioned earlier. So you won't see the supply boxes drop. All we're getting is potions and unagi. Oh, How yummy. Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering why no supply boxes were dropped. What you gonna do now? Oh shit! Damn! Holy! So that concludes uh, supply mode and essentially what the fight for Oz one mode is. But we're gonna go into talking about the coins that are available. As you can see right here in my inventory, the most common one to get would be conquerors coins. Now, after every single battle that you do, in every mode, uh, this fellow here, Jean-Pierre, he has different wares. So right now, he has some 100% uh, uh, scrolls, three Conqueror coins each. If we go in, do another round, he'll have new items. You also have uh, Popodom here. <laughs> who regularly sells Aswan scrolls. Now, these are a little bit different than your regular uh, scrolls in that they'll give you a good amount of boost to your stats, but they use multiple upgrade slots every time they're used. So if you use one and it's successful, it's three upgrade slots. For example, here, uh, Aswan scroll for armor for strength 60% gives you six strength, three upgrade slots used. 
If it fails, you don't get anything and you use up three upgrade slots. Now, you can also, with Conqueror coins, buy Emperor's coins. These are for very special items that uh, Jean-Pierre do- currently does not have for sale. Now, you also have something in Aswan called Inner Ability. You open your character stat menu, and we haven't earned enough EXP on our EXP yet to unlock any of the Inner Abilities, but it's kind of like having a permanent potential stat on you. You unlock one at level two, you unlock the next at on our uh, experience level 30, then the third at level 70. And you can buy circulators here to reset your inner abilities. So if you have one, you aren't quite sure you want to keep it, you think you can get a better one, you can spin your uh, conqueror's coins to get circulators and reset your inner abilities. And there are different circulators for different levels of inner abilities. Just for your information, we are currently on our internal test server. So this is not live yet, but it will be shortly for Global Maple Story. You probably saw this already as a note. You can only collect 150 coins a day. But if you want to continue playing Oswan, you still can. There's, it's just the amount of coins that you can collect is limited. Uh, we got a question about what's the level requirement for Hell Mode. Now, any character level 40 and above, which is a requirement for Aswan, can go into Hell Mode. But you will happen to be sent into the same difficulty level of Hell Mode that everyone has to experience, which would be the same difficulty that level 200 characters would be fighting. So um, we wish you the best of luck if you attempt it at level 40. So a very popular question that we've been receiving for, I'd say, most of the summer, Pirate Revamp. Now, I must say, Pirate Revamp will not be available in the Fight for Oz 1 update, but it is still coming this summer. Pirates will get their revamp. Uh, The Hilla Expedition will not be available quite yet. Uh, The Hilla Expedition is planned to come soon with a little bit of tweaking to dual blades. Mm -hmm. So uh, look forward to that fairly soon, sometime later this summer. So this concludes our Aswan preview live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the time here with us with our awesome narration. We hope you have a good day, and if you miss this stream, you'll be able to catch it again later with us.